Today on Make It, we're making a backlit Xbox One controller. To build this project, you'll need a 47 ohm resistor, four 3mm LEDs with whatever color you choose, I chose white, some ribbon cable, heat shrink tubing, a Torx security screwdriver, you also need a soldering iron, a clear Xbox One controller case, and an Xbox One controller. To open the controller you need to pull these side panels off. They're difficult at first, but don't be afraid to apply pressure. To reveal this last screw, pull off this barcode. There are five screws located here, 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 and here. Unscrew them all with a torque screwdriver and take away the back of the case. The new cases never come with prongs for the battery, so we'll need to use the ones from the original back. In order to take this off, you need to release these two tabs on this side, and then push in the tabs on the other side. Now all you have to do is push it in on the new case. Because these off-brand cases are made from different molds, we have to check if it fits properly. Hold down the left and right triggers and put down the new case on the back of the controller. Now we're going to temporarily re-screw everything back together. Depending on the case, you could have a problem with the triggers or a button. Here it felt like the triggers were rolling over something. On the original case, there was a groove for the trigger to move through. The off-brand case doesn't have one, so we'll have to file one in for ourselves. I didn't have any problems with sticky buttons on this case, but you can solve it the same way by filing some extra space for the button to move through. You can see this case also is missing a pad for the trigger to hit against. This isn't as important as the groove, but I used some hot glue to form my own pad. When you're sure the case fits properly, it's time to move on to the electronics. We're going to need to measure, cut, and strip the ribbon cable. We'll need four different lengths, 8 centimeters, 9 centimeters, 11 centimeters, and 13 centimeters. Twist all four wires together at one end. Cut the lead down to one centimeter on the 47 ohm resistor. Tin the short end of the resistor and the end of the four wires. Now we're going to solder the two together. Cut a piece of heat shrink tubing and place it over the conjunction between the wires and the resistor. It's much easier to use a lighter to shrink tubing but I didn't have one on hand, so I had to use the heat from my soldering iron to finish the job. On an LED, the long lead is positive and the short lead is negative. We're going to cut the long lead down so we can attach a wire to it. Tin the end of one of the wires, but before attaching it to the LED, make sure you cut a piece of heat shrink tubing and put it on the wire. Attach the LED to the wire and then bring up the piece of heat shrink tubing to cover the connection. Repeat this step for the other three wires. If you want, you can test the LEDs with a battery, but there shouldn't be any problems. Now we're going to cut and strip more wire for the negative leads. We need 7 centimeters, 8 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 12 centimeters. Cut down the negative lead, tin the wire, attach it to the LED, and cover the connection with heat shrink tubing. Make sure your LED looks like this and repeat this step for the other three wires. Hook the longer lead of the resistor around the positive lead from the Xbox One battery. We're going to solder it to the bottom of this pad. The positive leads are now attached to the controller. In order to finish, we need to attach the negative leads. We're going to attach to these solder points here. If you have any trouble getting the pads to reflow, try adding new solder to them. When you're finished soldering to the board, we need to mark the case where you want the LEDs to go. Take a hot glue gun and begin attaching the LEDs to the case. You can see I started on the left side first, but I recommend starting on the right side because the wires are longer.
Time to attach the case. Once everything fits, screw the case back together. And now for the easiest step, the battery. And there you have it, a backlit Xbox One controller. The links to most of the parts will be in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And if you like what you see, I have other projects in the works, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching.